I want to encourage every person at Christ Covenant to consider signing up for a small group. And one of the things that small group ministry does is it helps a big church like Christ Covenant get smaller. You come here and there's more than 2,000 members and there might be 1,500 people coming through these doors on a Sunday. It's a really big place. And though the Bible doesn't have a command that you have to be in a small group and it may not work for everyone in this season or stage of life, the Bible does give us commands, more than 100 of them, to love one another, bear each other's burdens, care for one another, show hospitality to one another. One of the reasons for this small group's push is to give you an opportunity to be obedient to these one another commands. Perhaps you're thinking, I don't really need a small group at this point in my life. And that, and that may be the case. But think about small groups not as only something that will benefit you, but how you might benefit others. There are going to be, hopefully by God's grace, new people coming in. And how will they be known and know other people? How will they not just find friendly faces, but actually make friends if we're not willing and eager to be in the sort of smaller settings where we can make friends. So consider this fall signing up for one of the many small group options that we have at Christ Covenant. So at Christ Covenant Church, small groups come in many different forms, but they all serve the same purpose, fellowship. Small groups come together regularly for the sake of eating together, spending time with one another, praying together, all with an eye towards growing together in fellowship. So again, we'd love to help you get connected to a small group this fall.